Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a Let's Play A Plague Tale Innocence. What, Lucas? We are nearing uh, Chateau d'Ombrage, I think was the name? Yeah. I'm approximately right, which is the best kind of right. For the rest of this chapter, that's going to be the primary puzzle objective, we'll say. God, everybody's just talking over each other. Feels like a family picnic, everyone just holding like nine different conversations with one another. So this idea of driving rats into a pit is going to be central to the rest of the chapter. And right now, the way we do that is pretty simple. Like, it's as linear a track as it gets for driving them straight forward into a pit. Uh, but the puzzle after this is actually really, really cool and elaborate. I'll take care of the door. So she can apparently pick this from this side. That's fine. While she does that and gets Lucas and Hugo across, uh, we're gonna light this brazier and drive the rats on this side into the pit. Same way we did before. Uh, shouldn't have crossed the bridge there. Didn't realize the lever was on this side. So, okay, so we'll pull this. And just like before, they will end up unable to cross the impenetrable barrier of light produced by the fire. And they'll have to end up in the pit. You can't fault the system. It's very efficient. Is it efficient, though? I don't think so. Either way, uh, let's grab this stuff real quick. Almost missed out on. Some fabric and some sulfur. This lets uh, Melee... I'll go first. Lucas, Hugo, sure. and Amicia get down here. And that clears up the way to uh, the castle proper. Come on, that boy can climb that on his own. Surely. Another door. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. I mean, you say you hope that, but nobody really Maybe has a plan here if there are, on my way. do they? Come on! I'm starting to get fed up of all these doors. <sighs> Look! We found it! The castle! Whoa. It really exists. Shut up the wash. It's amazing. You know what that string is? Doubt, but that... That's the sort of arc that string is like a, a killer instinct it's saber it's wolf. Possible. String. Really striking. I don't see. Sharp. Did you see that? The lightning bolt. They're afraid of lightning. Let's try it. That's really important. Also, I love lightning mechanics. Like anytime you have to disguise a loud noise behind the sound of thunder, or you have to take advantage of a flash of lightning in some way. Love that. One of my favorites is always is the um, the sniper fire mission <laughs> in Bad Company 2, where you have to time the the uh, you have to time the sniper rounds with uh, thunder. Widespread legend of four thieves who found a way to plunder contaminated houses without being struck by evil themselves. And when they were finally uh, when they were finally stopped, the robbers were promised they would not be burned at the stake. If they revealed their secret, they agreed at making the details of their mysterious recipe public and were hanged on the spot. The effectiveness of their recipe remains highly questionable. Vinegar of the Four Thieves. I would love to learn more about this. This is not a, a myth that I'm particularly well versed in. Or, I think, maybe historical fact? I'm not sure. Sounds like folklore, though. Some kind of urban legend. Okay, so the lightning struck, the rats retreated into their holes for a minute, but before they come back out, we still have to light that up. 
And then we have to craft more and wait for another bolt of lightning. Sent down by Stromus, the empty thunder. I'll give you a hand. Yes. And Doria, the mountain crown. Really? We did. Mm, 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 mm. We're here. Look at it. Chateau d'Ambrage. And of course, gentle Vardic, the softened storm. <laughs> Incredible. That tower over there. It's the living quarters. It must be several centuries old. It looks like it's dry, but there's a pit in the way. It's full of rats. It's another trap. There has to be another way to get through. So this one is really cool. There are multiple pits, multiple braziers, these it's rotating open. mechanisms that uh, that move the braziers around, uh, and like concentric rings of them that you have to navigate. They all decided to meet here, it seems. Look, a brazier. Let's see if I can light it. Oh, thank you for saving me resources, Lucas. Lucas, Hugo, stay out of the rain. We'll open up a path to the tower. All right. Come, Hugo. Ready, Melly? As long as we get them out of the way. Come on. I love the that they established the relationship between Lucas and Hugo. This battle will go down in history. Not just to give him a friend, but also but mechanically moving. because it does something. It gets Hugo out of your way while you take care of, like, long, elaborate tasks. Mm -hmm without having to hold his hand and have him slow you down the whole time. Also serves a we third purpose, which is again to make Hugo yes, less of an master. impediment to I'll the player. First, Means it fosters cool. less resentment. Thanks a lot. They do three really clever things at once there. And one of those things they had to build up over time. Go on, I'm with you. Great, I feel better already. Just a lot going on under the hood of this game. Just a lot of really smart, really cool design. I'm going to need Melly to push that. And now that they've taught us about the pits, hey, and prior that. to that, oh. using uh, your companions to help you solve puzzles, like ordering them to do stuff, we can synthesize all that together for well, a really large-scale puzzle. Coming back by itself. Melly, can you get to me? I'm coming! So we drove I'm a section of rats them. away. We cleared the path for Melee, so uh, she can come Look help us Swarming push this like bridge down. At the king's court, but it's our castle. <laughs> Gives us access to another one of those uh, levers. Levers? Uh, no, it's more like a wheel. Right. The mechanism. And of course they're on the wrong side of the brazier. Okay, so this is another right. one to light. I'll cover you with the brazier. This one doesn't I'm entirely. Your hands, you know. mm. in a day's work, milady. Whenever you're ready. This one doesn't entirely get them into the pit, and we have to rely on Melly to wow. move the brazier for us, so what? we can follow along. <laughs> Would you rather be down here? This still doesn't drive them into a pit. More I can get up on the so we have to work harder for this one. We can like this to get ready for the next section after this. Can't get up here without Melly. So, we have to light another one, and that one is going to get us towards driving these rats into the pit behind us. But it still cuts some of them off. So there will still be a pack after we've dealt with this section to also deal with. So for now, this is lit. So we're going to drive all of those backwards now. Melly, I'm clearing the outer area. They're coming your way. All right. There are so many of them. We'll never clear a path that way. Right. We need to clear the whole courtyard. Let's get on with it then. I'm already soaked anyway. Melly is hold positioning. Uh, the brazier in that forward position so the rats can't just spill back out to uh, their starting point from the other side once we push them out here along the outer ring. And then once Melee lets go, uh, the brazier on the inner ring 
will drift back into its original spot, pushing the rest of these rats into the pit, because they have nowhere else to go here. The fire is now blocking this escape route. First, we're going to come in here, get this chest opened up, find a tool, and some cord. Now we can tell there Millie to go. let go. Into the pits with you. Yes. Perfect. And this is also well, why it. they have the glowing the eyes. It's down. not just to make them look to eerie, the it's also so you can see uh, where it's they are and resting. what's going on in the dark a little bit easier. Just smart things. Everything serves multiple purposes. It's really efficient. Everything serves some kind of narrative purpose and also some kind of uh, gameplay purpose. And yeah, it's just very clever design. Hats off to Asobo on all this. So we're gonna reset this because we want all of these rats now corralled into this final section. Uh, it also opens the path for melee to melee, melee to advance once again. You, you can see where my mind goes. <laughs> Her name. The bridge. We'd better lower it. And this and is the so final drawbridge to lower. Misia the Amazon and Meli the Stealthy hmm. conquered the Chateau d'Ombrage. Huh. You've read too many books. I. Come on. We still have to clean up the area down there. We're going to need the brazier from the ramparts. I'll cover you with this one. All right, I'm going down. Now, was there something else down here I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, I can't quite remember if I'm going down the ladder next to her right away, or if I come back and loop around here first for something. So I may come up here. I'm gonna get a lay of the land from here and just make sure. Uh, no, I'm supposed to just go down the ladder next to her. Better safe than sorry. May as well have checked. Only delays us a moment while we climb back up and down the other side. So we do more or less the same thing with this section, except it takes a little bit more effort to drive them off. Uh, so let's see. Coming down here. Melee's gonna move this for us again. We're gonna follow along. Uh, uh, what is it? Nothing. It's just a crappy old lever. Melly, you always know the right thing to say. It's going to be alright. It's your castle. You have a connection. Our castle. Imagine we could all live here together. I'm more of a stellar girl, you know. How am I going to get up there? Hmm. But the damn rats are everywhere. Okay, so there's a small torch, a small sconce over there by the ladder. Doesn't provide much light, just a little refuge. But since we can light the stick with the brazier, we'll just barely be able to cross the outer ring to get to that little point of refuge in the light by the ladder and then climb up. That gets us through step one of this section. But there's a little bit more to do here than just that. It's more like combining everything that we've done so far in this puzzle. Uh, for the very last part. So this one is much larger in scope and a much larger time investment. Uh, and takes a lot more effort than the other puzzles so far. Just as a result of starting to put together a bunch of principles that they've taught us so far. So, uh, we have them all corralled here. now. I'm going to need you. I'm coming. She's driving right. them further here back. Again. This is how you conquer a castle. This is how you get sick. No, not in my version of the story. You see, there was no pit to where Amelie drove them. So we have to do a little bit more. We're still driving them further in. They're now corralled in the back of the outer ring here. 
And what am I doing? How am I getting up there? Oh, that's right. Okay, can't go near this fire, so one more set of pushes. This is cool, and it gets cooler from here. With these noble words, they readied themselves to recover what was rightfully theirs. A home. Stop it. Come on, I'm sure there's a cellar for you here somewhere. Amicia, it's not that simple. You don't know me. All right, I understand. And then once Melly lets the other brazier go, the one that's now behind us, that will finally drive the rats into that pit. No, no, no! Loose the dragons! <laughs> Come on, back off, you bastards! Retreat before Amicia the Amazon and Melly the Fury! What? Melly the Fury? I told you you didn't know me! It's also nice just to have that moment of levity with them and hope. was right. To celebrate our victory, would you mind if we get out of the rain, please? Right. To the tower. Yes. Come over to the fire and warm up. It's huge. We'll have time to explore tomorrow. This is our home now. about dream uh, oh, are you are you awake already yes I found lots and lots and lots of things come and see we really like them okay before we go any further make sure to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell and all the other stuff in the description thank you all for watching take it easy have a good one